how does this all fit in? If you remember the diagram in our administrative PL sessions, where we're looking at the ideal state, assessing current reality, looking at the gap analysis, and looking at our beliefs about addressing the gaps, our leadership voice, high leverage team actions, looking at change, going back to our ideal state. I want to just talk for a few minutes about how everything we're asking you to do fits in. So let's take, for instance, the ideal state. So think of the ideal state as where we want to get to. Um, so think of our vision, um, Dwayne Coleman's personal vision. He's talked a lot about effective and efficient. So let's think about that as our ideal state. That's where we want to get to. You can also put in the district-wide instructional focus in the area of ideal state. Now, if we look at assessing the current reality, we've asked you to look at the uh, instruction reflection form and just gather some baseline data. So this would be similar to assessing our current reality. Just looking at those individual conversations with the teachers, gathering some baseline data of where they are individually. And then if we look at the gap analysis, so where are our gaps between the ideal state and our current reality? So really, we're gonna take all of this information that we gathered from the instructional reflection form, we're gonna synthesize this information on a synthesis form. And that's gonna be used to develop or fine tune our gap, gap analysis or where our gaps are. And then we move on to addressing our beliefs about our gaps. Um, looking at our, our leadership voice, how we message, and then we look at the high leverage team actions. When we think about the high leverage team actions, we're thinking about the actions that are going to move us forward. So we're actually addressing those gaps at this point. So that's where the site learning plan comes in. It's actually a roadmap or a plan where we articulate these are our gaps and this is how we're going to address the gaps. This is how we're going to move forward which then leads us to the positive change that we're hoping for, which then goes back to our ideal state.